Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. In this video, I'm going to react to Animals That Asked Humans For Help Part 2. Now, I reacted to the first part of this last week or maybe the week before and honestly, like when I first was recommended this video, I thought, come on, there's no way that animals would like, you know, not speak English, but like actually gesture and, you know, visibly appear to be asking for help from humans. but. I was surprised because they were like it was really incredible and um, my heart really went out to them because a lot of the times these animals were in situations that were probably human you know humans fault so fish were caught in in nets same thing with turtles and, and bears and stuff like that so I'm, I'm curious to see you know what other ones what other situations animals have been in that they've actually needed human beings help so this should be a fun one to watch so let's do it this dolphin got stuck in the shallow riverbed three miles away from the nearest sea. It is on the brink of death, since dirty stagnant water is not a suitable habitat. You can hear the dolphin make a distinctive whistle in hopes of someone hearing it. Thankfully, a human is nearby and he rushes to the rescue. Oh, People resuscitate no. the injured animal using whatever they can find and later it is returned to its native element. That's awesome. I love stuff like that. That's just one of many cases when animals <laughs> Human, I request your assistance. Animals asked humans for help. If you watch until the end, you'll see how smart, far-sighted, and trusting animals can be. That's what happened in the case with this koala that was found on the street looking exhausted and frightened. But as soon as it saw people, the koala ran over to hug their legs. People fed it a few mint leaves, gave it water, and later arranged a visit to see a doctor. There is no doubt that now they're best friends. Now this is a different koala, but it is also very friendly. It regularly visits these people. This koala even has its own water bowl. Before it coyly sat in a tree without paying attention. However, on this hot day, it decided to freshen up in the pool. Take a look. At some point, it starts drinking straight from the human's hands. And later, it expresses gratitude in the most adorable way. Major trust toward koalas, they're native to Australia, aren't they? I think so. It's humans is demonstrated by these dogs from San Diego. At first, it might look like they are just greeting the young men. But if you take a closer look, you'll notice that the dogs are inviting these guys to follow oh, them. there's a dog in there. <gasps> oh, is he stuck? The dog. Oh, They have wow. a goal. The rescue of a friend in trouble. The dogs were right. These men were certainly not indifferent to the big issue at hand. So the dogs were calling the humans for, that's, that's incredible. Dogs are smart, man. Dogs are smart. That's great. This mommy dog asked the human to save her children from the rain and even led the man to the puppy's location. Oh man. She was very interested in the process of the rescue operation. She's seemingly very happy with the results. These puppies are safe and she can move on to parenting. Man, I hope they've got food. Yes, that's really a husky at the top of an electricity pylon. What the it's heck? asking for help by barking loudly. The How weight did... of a fully grown husky averages about 20 kilos and the human- How did it get up there? How the hell did it get up there? Has to act very carefully in order to not fall down with this cargo. A similar situation happened in Montana when a mountain lion climbed onto a telephone pole. Biologists had to tranquilize the animal as it was unable to get down by itself. At one point, the drowsy lion slips off and falls down. But according to the specialists, everything was under control and the fall was a necessary measure. The animal was not injured. Thank goodness. There are many cases when a human risks their life to save those who are more vulnerable. Among them is this spectacular incident with a seagull that got stuck on an electrical cable. It's actually incredible that they sent out the helicopter, you know, to get to rescue this seagull. It's, it's, I love stuff like that, man. You know, we care, you know, or at least most of us. <clears throat> Despite their natural fear of humans, animals tend to seek help from them when in trouble. Even birds do that. This is in central Australia. 
and the ambient temperature has reached 45 degrees Celsius. Whoa. This tiny rainbow bee eater came to people hoping to hide from the heat. Then people wet its feathers, leaving some water in a hole in the ground. When it was time to say goodbye, the grateful bird wouldn't even think about leaving the person's finger and was really reluctant to step over to a branch. Man, 45 degrees Celsius, Australia, man, it, that gets, it gets hot over there. Like the hottest I've experienced, I think, was 42 in Dubai. And goodness me, I couldn't, I couldn't go outside. The few seconds I was outside was getting from the hotel into a taxi. And it's just, it's like the sun's beating down on you. Man. They are definitely emotional and empathetic. In this video, a hungry bear takes food from the passengers of a car. After the feast, it thanks the kind people by standing on its back legs. Wow. But the way the next story plays out is even more astounding. A baby elephant has fallen into a ditch and oh, is being no. rescued by an excavator machine. The bucket is used to push the dirt into the empty space so that the baby can, can step, step up. On it. Oh. When it finally manages to climb out, it joins the herd. The happy cries confirm their understanding of the situation. And now something completely unbelievable happens. The grown-up elephants are saluting humans in gratitude. Just look at it. Wow, it waved with its trunk. Oh man, this is, this is good, man. Getting a bit emotional over here. Scientific experiments have shown that elephants are emotional beings. They are. Elephants and are smart. known to comfort other elephants in distress. They stand beside them, touching them with trunks and making soft sounds. We have just witnessed that they are capable of profound gratitude towards humans. Just like land dwellers, the sea inhabitants are also not safe from trouble. This pufferfish caught the eye of the diver Shanger Danger because of its unnaturally large head and strange behavior. Turns on? out it swallowed a fishing hook and the oh. fishing weight was holding it down under the reef. Oh, At no. first, the diver tries to extract the hook from its mouth cavity, risking his finger. But the hook is still stuck. Oh. So next, Shanger decides to untie the fishing line and in a few minutes he succeeds. Finally, it's free. The fish spends some time swimming around its saviors as if to say, Thank you for saving my life. Oh man. For Did they manage to get the hook out though, or was it just the string? The fires that happened in Australia in 2019 to 2020 are said to be the most destructive in the written history. They caused terrible danger to the Australian wildlife. Thousands of livestock animals and millions of wild animals were killed and injured. Many people made an effort to help the affected animals. For example, this woman is washing a kangaroo's burned hands. The little animal is not trying to escape and even allows the human to stoke it. And if it could, it would probably hug the woman in response. Feeling thirsty, this wild monkey not only fearlessly approached a human, but casually went into his backpack. <laughs> it bit through the bowl. <laughs> it looks like a new friendship was formed that day. To help this rat what type of monkey is that like i've seen these are these um these aren't are these orangutans no they're not orangutans they're not chimps either <sighs> macans to help this raccoon a whole rescue Ooh. team has assembled freeing its head from a drain was really not easy but they succeeded and it is free once again oh man <laughs> The white blotch approaching the shore is a pair of swans. They got tangled with one another and they understand that without the human's help, they are doomed. So when they spot the passers-by, they swim right towards them. The oh swans' wings and necks are in a disarray and require a lot of effort and precision in order to not cause any damage. Oh, the neck, you can tell the neck has been all stretched out so it can't like support itself yet. But now these proud birds can spread their wings. And now you see a deer that also needs help. It's stranded on a frozen lake in Pennsylvania. It looks like it went too far, slipped, and could no longer get up. A hunter couldn't stand to see it suffer. He tried to save the animal by using a rope. Once the rope is attached, he towed the deer to the shore. This baby sloth's name is Gu But why couldn't the, uh, why couldn't the deer get up and 
Was it tired? Was it exhaustion? Is that why it couldn't get up on its feet and walk off? Bonabana. And in this footage, he is doing fine. However, not long ago, this baby was in huge danger. After low tide, he got stuck between two rocks, and he could have died during the next tide. The baby sloth was crying loudly and calling for help. His cries for help were heard by a man named Dirk. He rescued the animal, drove him home, and later took him to an animal rescue center. This desperate incident happened in the Indian town of Karwar, where a king cobra showed up on the outskirts. Oh this snake is from the Elapidae family and is the longest venomous snake on the planet. Whoa. When it gets into a human body, the venom paralyzes the muscles, causing contractions and eventual paralysis of the respiratory system. Only seven milliliters of this- Man, did you see the color? Hold on a minute. The color of that venom, that neon green, looks radioactive. <laughs> Only seven milliliters of this venom can kill a person in 15 minutes. The cobra is patient, but very aggressive. At the same time, it's as afraid of people as people are of it. So what made this cobra come to humans? At the time, India was going through a drought. People realized that the snake is not planning to attack, it needs help. They called the zoologists that determined its poor state and measured the length 3.65 meters. And pay attention, Yeesh. they let the snake drink right from the bottle. After that, they took it to the woods and it was safely released. Not once did it display any aggression. Wow, man. Just think about it. According to the data from the Worldwide Fund for Nature, Every year, about 10,000 species disappear off the face of the earth. Because of waste and pollution, hundreds die every year. But taking the cases we told you about today in consideration, humans are able to slow down and even stop this process. Do good, and it will come back to you in the most unexpected way. If you like this video, like and comment wow. below. Yeah, man, there were moments where I was getting a little bit emotional, I have to say. Just, uh, it's never nice to see an animal, you know, in in pain, you know, starving, you know, dehydrated, just suffering in general. So it was awesome to see, you know, people stepping in and helping, but I can't help but think of the times where animals couldn't find any assistance and, and ultimately perished. Yeah, man, stuff like this uh, always, always gets to me. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.